and I mm -hmm. have been traveling with him for many, many months throughout all of Judea. We left everything to follow him and have seen him perform many, many miracles. And have heard him teach the scriptures and open the scriptures to us unlike any teacher or rabbi in all of Judea. We have seen him heal the sick and the lame and the blind and the deaf. How could any man do these things if he was not sent from God? He has even raised the dead. A young girl, the daughter of Jarius, was dead. He entered the room, spoke her name, and she lived again. And his friend Lazarus was dead in the tomb for three days or more. And he came and commanded him to come out. Lazarus came out still in his grave clothes, alive, and lives to this day. If we had not seen it, we would not have believed it. When he performs these miracles and heals these people, he does so with such love and compassion. You can tell that he really cares about these people. He is not performing these miracles merely to show what kind of power he has. We believe he has come from God. We believe he is a prophet. And many of us believe that he is the Messiah foretold by the prophets of old. Look for him this Passover when he enters the city. We think something exciting will happen this Passover when he enters the city. He told us to come ahead and wait for him. Perhaps he will be crowned king and finally free us from the Romans. Do any of you need an animal? I think I need a dove. I need a dove and a bread. Do you have shekels? Uh, no I don't, but... Well, if you do not have shekels, perhaps you can trade something with the money changer for the shekels. This box you were holding looks very expensive. <laughs> you, could, you could trade that for, for many shekels, perhaps. <laughs> Some of you wear such fine jewelry. Perhaps you can trade those for the shekels. Feel free to examine the animals. They are truly without spot or blemish. Shalom. Shalom. <laughs>